Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, September the 7th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verse 9 to 24, John chapter 9, verse 18 to 41, and the Song of Zechariah. And please pardon the background noises, it's over 105 degrees at the time of the recording. And there's no air conditioning, so you'll probably hear a lot of fan noise in the background and probably traffic noises and so forth outside as well. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, have mercy on me, O God, for I am in distress. Alleluia. Psalm 31. Have mercy on me, O God, for I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes and my throat and my heart. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighs. Affliction has broken my strength and my bones waste away. In the face of all my foes, I am a reproach, an object of scorn to my neighbors and a fear to my friends. Those who see me in the street run far away from me. I am like the dead, forgotten by all, like a thing thrown away. I've heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. But as for me, I trust in you. I say, you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant and save me in your love. Let me not be put to shame, for I call on you. Let the wicked be shamed. Let them be silenced in the grave, and let lying lips be mute that speak haughtily against the just with pride and contempt. How great is your goodness that you keep for all who fear you, that you show to all who trust you in the sight of all. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from human plots you keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed are you who has shown me such a steadfast love in a fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said in my alarm, and yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love God, all you saints. God guards the faithful, but in turn will repay to the full those who act with pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all who hope in God the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, O God, for I am in distress. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 9, beginning at verse 18. Now the Jews did not believe that the man had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of the man and asked them, Is this your son, who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? And his parents answered, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind. But we do not know how it is that now he sees, nor we, do we know who opened his eyes. Ask him, he is of age, he will speak for himself. And his parents said this because they were afraid of the Jews. For the Jews had already agreed that if anyone confessed Jesus to be the Messiah, anybody who confessed Jesus to be the Messiah would be put out of the synagogue. And therefore his parents said, he is of age, ask him. So for the second time they called the man who had been blind, and they said to him, Give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered, I do not know whether he is a sinner. One thing I do know is I was blind, and now I see. And they said to him, What did he do? How did he open your eyes? And he answered them, I have told you already, and you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciples? And then they reviled him, saying, You are his disciples, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses, but as for this man, we do not know where he comes from. And the man answered, Here is an astonishing thing. 
You do not know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to sinners, but he does listen to one who worships and obeys his will. Never since the world began has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a person born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered him, You were born entirely in sins, and are you trying to teach us? And they drove him out. And Jesus heard that they had driven him out, and when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? And the man answered, And who is he, sir? Tell me, so that I may believe in him. And Jesus said, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. The man said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped. And Jesus said, I came into this world for judgment, so that those who do not see may see, and those who do see may become blind. Some of the Pharisees near him heard this and said, Surely we are not blind, are we? And Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would have not have sinned. But now that you say, We see, your sin remains. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for Christian unity, for Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, for this gathering and for all people, for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all people, for justice and peace and for unity, for the poor and the sick, especially Marilyn, Ronald Francis, Marjorie, for the hungry, the oppressed, for those in prison, especially Christian, and for those in any need or trouble, for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God that they may find and be found, for the mercy of God community, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, I ask your prayers for the departed, especially Philip and Wayne, and for all who died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, especially Francis and Claire, that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions, our beloved which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, you've come to your people and set us free. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old, you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free.
we trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we could ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.